Coming up in today's video, we are going to be talking about the best email marketing software for WooCommerce. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, we're talking about email marketing for WooCommerce. So in order for you to run a successful online store, you need to make sure that you have follow-up emails or you even have emails that guide the user to what is going to be happening throughout the purchase process. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a system that makes this job very, very easy. Let's dive in and let me show you. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to start off with a site here which has already WooCommerce commerce installed. So as you can see here, I've already gone ahead and installed WooCommerce. It's absolutely free. So you want to go and install it. And to do that, you want to come over here to plugins, click on add new, and then search for WooCommerce, click install, and then click update. Once you've done that, pretty much you're good to go. Now, the next step, and this is now the system that we're going to need in order for us to have all our emails automated. All right, so the plugin is called Affluent CRM. So we are going to search for it here. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to click install now. Great, so now it's installed. The next step now is to activate it. So I'm gonna click here on activate. Great, so now that is activated, uh, you can find it over here where it says Fluent CRM. So why don't we click here and see what is happening? So when I click over here, it gives us this uh, welcome where we go through and set it up correctly. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click, let's go. This is where you want to put your business name. So I'm just gonna call this Mac and we need to add an address here. I'm just gonna say 209 the street. Obviously, this is fake. Now, I don't have a logo right now to upload, but uh, if you have a logo, you can just upload it here. Next, we're going to click on next, and then we're going to uh, now create our first list. So the list we're going to create is going to determine where users go to when they do a particular thing. So I'm just gonna call this one here customers. Right, so that's gonna be my list, and I am going to click on next. All right, so the next step is to add a tag. And here we're going to add a tag for someone that buys a specific product. So I'm just going to say bought product A. Okay, so I'm going to click on next. And pretty much that's all we need to do to set this all up. Now, there are also other items here we can do is uh, maybe add our email address here. So I'm just going to add it. There we go, so that's my email address, and then I'm gonna hit complete installation. So this now is going to install Fluent CRM. Right, so now that everything is uh, imported, we're going to go now to the dashboard. All right, great. So this is our main dashboard. This is where pretty much uh, we have a bird's eye view uh, on what is happening here on our website. So here we can see our subscriber growth. We can see our email sending stats, our open stats, and so on. Right, so what I'm interested here is in the automation. So let's take a look here and see what we have here on the automations. So when we take a look here at the automations, if we click on create new automation, you notice that you only have WordPress triggers and forms. So this free version does not have the extra integrations with other services like WooCommerce and so on. So this is where now we're going to install the pro version. And by the way, the pro version right now has a very good discount. So let's head over there and take a look. So over here, I'm just gonna go to the site. And as you can see, email marketing automation dedicated for WordPress. Now, the reason why I really, really like Fluent CRM is because it installs on your WordPress website, okay? So I'm gonna scroll, scroll all the way down here to the bottom because this is where we have the integrations and also the pricing. So as you can see, see here we have WooCommerce. So if you wanted to uh, automate your WooCommerce store, we have the integration here. And there's also quite a few. We also have easy digital downloads, Lifter LMS, LearnDash, uh, WP Fusion, Wishlist Member, MemberPress, Tutor LMS, and so on. So all these are integrations that you can use to automate your emails on your website. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful system, but uh, we definitely want to install this so I can show you uh, what power this brings to your WooCommerce store. All right, so moving on, let's take a look now at the pricing. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here and here we go. So this is the pricing. Normally this will cost you 129 and this is a single license per year, but there is an offer right now, which will bring this uh, down to $77. And then over here we have a five site license and this is 249, but again, you can get it here for 149 because there's a discount. So you want to make sure you get this discount as quick as you can. The link to that is in the video description below. And then over here we have the fifth 
50 license and this is great for agencies. So if you are going to be designing websites for your customers and you want to implement this system, this is the license that you need. And to be honest, it is very, very affordable because if you take a look at uh, ConvertKit, it's going to cost you way, way more than this. All right, so enough talking. Let's go ahead and let's install this. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and downloaded it. It's right here on the bottom here of my screen. So let's go ahead and install it. So to install it, uh, we're going to install it pretty much the same way as we did with the first plugin. We're going to come over here, click on add new. Next, we're going to upload the plugin and I'm just going to drag it from here and install it. So it's going to take a moment to install. Okay, great. It looks like it's installed now. Next, I'm going to hit activate plugin. All right, so now that we've activated our plugin, the next step now is to head over to the automations tab and see what we can do. But before we do that, you wanna make sure you create your products first because the automation has to refer to a product on your WooCommerce website. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so over here now, I'm gonna to come to my products and click on add new. Now remember, we created a tag called product A or bought product A. So why don't we create product A here? Now I can see here it's saying I need to activate my license. So I'm just gonna go ahead quickly and do that. So I'm gonna click here on activate, leave site. Now remember, when you uh, purchase the license, you're going to get um, a license key, which I am going to add right here. So I'm just gonna go to the website and add my license key here and verify it. So once verified now, you can see here my license is valid and activated. So that means I can go ahead and uh, set up my system. Okay, so back over here now, I'm going to go to WooCommerce, add new. Right, so my product here is going to be called product A. All right, so we need to give this a bit of a description. So I'm just gonna paste some dummy text in here. I'm gonna give it a price. So we're gonna say 97. And uh, here we need a short description. So I'm just gonna add something in here as well. Okay. Now we also may want to add our product image here. So I'm going to come over here and hit select and let's look for a product image that we can use for this. Okay. You know what? I am just going to um, add this because this is all I have here. But in your case, you want to make sure you add the products uh, image for your actual product. All right. So now with that all said, I'm going to hit publish. So this means now when I head over to um, Fluent CRM, I can go in and uh, point to this product in our uh, automation. Okay, so next I'm going to come over here to Fluent CRM. So this is where I need to go to my automations. So I'm going to click here on automations. Oops, I need to update this first. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go to Fluent CRM and click on automations. Right, so I'm going to click here on create new automation. And notice that now we have wishlist member, learn dash, uh, CRM, WooCommerce, and so on. Now this has come on automatically because we upgraded Fluent CRM to the paid version. So the paid version gives you all these integrations and it is really, really fantastic. So as long as you have the plugin running on your website, it is going to show here on the automations. Okay, so now let's say um, this is a welcome. So this is gonna be a welcome uh, automation. And this is going to be running on WooCommerce. So I'm going to click here on WooCommerce. And this needs to be on the new order. So now I'm going to hit continue. Okay, so this trigger is going to work as soon as someone buys something, okay? So here I'm going to target a specific product. Now, a moment ago, we just created a product called product A. And this is the one we need to target, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Great. And uh, over here we have categories, but to be honest, you don't need you don't need to target categories. You can just leave this as it is. Now here we have something very interesting. So this could be only first time purchase. So if someone purchases for the first time, this is where the automation will run, but you can also leave it as any type of purchase. And this is for product A. Next, I'm gonna hit save settings. Now that we have our first trigger point. So the trigger point is new order. So as soon as someone goes in and buys product A, which we've just created, this is where now we can go in and set up whatever we need. And the setup now is much, much easier because all we have to do is to click on this plus and we can say send custom email. So this is where we can say, okay, boom, we set up our email, we give it a subject and we can just say welcome. But to be honest, you need to be a more creative than this. This is just for demo purposes only. Okay, and this is where you can start writing. 
So let's say hello. And notice that if you hit the at sign, it gives you uh, all these prefixes. So I'm going to go with uh, first name. OK, so this is where it's going to say hello, first name. And I'm just going to paste my content in here. And if you have any images you want to add in here, it's very easy. Use the forward slash. So this will give you all the list of items that you can add on to your email. OK, so I am looking for an image. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. And let's have a look here. So we can either upload from the library or uh, we can upload from our computer. So I'm going to go to my library here and look for something to add. OK, so I'm going to go with this one here. I'm going to select it and I can do some adjustments here if I wanted to. But you know what? I'm just going to leave this as it is. And we also have the ability to add our buttons here. So let's go ahead and do that again. I'm going to click on the forward slash and then I'm going to choose my button. And in my button here, I would say uh, get your discount or maybe click here to get your product. Now, as I mentioned, uh, this could link to uh, anything. This can work on a um, course website. It could work on physical products, whatever it is. So here is the button to add a link. You can just click here on this uh, area here. I'm just going to add a blank link like that. And I want this to open in a new tab. OK, great. So now that we have this all set, this is our basically our email. I'm going to hit save settings. Great. So that's our welcome email. Now. Here's one really cool thing about uh, Fluent CRM. When you click here on stats, you can actually see how many people have uh, made that order and also how many have um, clicked on the button here to go to the welcome email or to download their product. Now, we can also go ahead and there's quite a lot of automations here. If you have an email sequence, you can add your email sequence from here. If you want to apply tags, you can apply your tags here after the person has bought the product. So the reason why you may want to apply your tags is because it makes it easier for you to send emails based on the actual tag. So you can go into the system and say, I want to send emails to someone who has tag bought product A. And that's where the email will go. So this is why it's important to have your tags. So you can also remove tags over here. So as you can see, all these are items that you can add and uh, remove to your automations. Now, we also have this one here, which says cancel automation. So let's say at some point you want to cancel the whole automation. You can just add this and this will cancel your automation. Here is where you choose the automation. And if I hit save, now you can say after this day, when you get to this stage, it cancels the automation. But of course, you don't want to do this yet. OK, so if you want to delete it, you just click on it and then click on delete. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful system. You can create all these automated funnels on each and every one of your products and you can they can all be based on a specific action. So let's say you want to do a promo. You can say, OK, for everyone that has bought product A, let's wait 10 days and then send them a promo uh, email. So let me show you how to do that. So over here, after the welcome email, you can click here on this plus button and say wait. And I'm going to say wait, uh, let's say five days. OK, save settings. And then after waiting five days, we want to send a maybe an email campaign or you can send a one off email. And in that email, the email can have all your promotions uh, for maybe another product, uh, which will probably have a discount. So this is how you automate your emails on WooCommerce. It's very, very powerful. And I highly recommend this. Now, before I end this video, I'd also like to remind you that when you use Fluent CRM, you're going to need to use a, an email sending program. So if you already have, say, uh, MailPoet, for example, you can use that for sending emails. Now, you may be asking, why can't I use MailPoet um, as to using, say, for example, Fluent CRM? Well, MailPoet doesn't have the automations that I've just shown you here. This is a much more powerful system. And also, if you wanted to send a lot of emails uh, to your mailing list, it would be very, very cheap if you did this with Amazon SES. Uh, the uh, setup is a bit, uh, it's a bit tricky, but I am uh, putting together a tutorial to show you how to set up Fluent CRM and Amazon SES. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.